<laughs> okay, we're ready. Go! Hello everybody! I'm too old for toys and who are you? What? No, you can't say that. You can't tell people your real name. You're Junior. Why well, I'm a Junior? That's what I call you, okay? <laughs> Hello everybody! Where did Daddy get this from? Model shop. Yeah, we bought this together, didn't we? Yes. So, just a few moments ago. It's the Gundam Age. What is it called? Age. Age. Advanced grade. One in one forty-fourth scale. And the illustration is by a Mr. As Maria. I assume that's a Mr. Maybe rather presumptuous of me. Very anime, I suppose. A lot more cartoony than the high grade was. And what's this? Hey, what is this? Gauge ing age system. So this is uh, one for that microchip thing that he puts in his, I don't know, limbs somewhere? No idea how that works. Haven't the foggiest. Time to open. You want to open it already? Let's have to look at the box first. So there's this arcade machine thingamajig where you're supposed to take your model and do battle. Oh, I want all your money. That looks interesting. How many colours is that? One, two, three, four, five? Looks good, doesn't it? I'm sure that's all painted. I expect that this is going to be something like a, a first grade model kit. So, ooh, here's that main character that we all love. So, did you like watching the cartoon? You have yes. to say something, nodding your head, they don't know. Yeah, like, yes. You liked it? Yes. Why did you like it? Because it's funny. It's funny, okay. Um, time to open them. Ooh. Time to make it. Well, first observations is four, five, six colours. And seven colours. Well, forgot to mention, 600 yen it retails for. That's half the price of the high grade. Three. And there's the card. Yes. Look, Daddy, I've got the card, there's a card. Card? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, another observation I can tell you that these parts are the snap-out variety, so you don't need any tools. Don't, don't Definitely need. for the beginners. And... You want to look at the card, don't you? This is for the machine. Should I be showing you this ID? I don't know. Hi, something know. in this little box. This Let's must be the little chip thing. It says zero zero one. There's a rattle to it. Something inside. Oh, he's off. Where are you going? I'm going to open it. Okay, you go and get a pair of scissors. Okay. Not bad colour separation. Oh, thank you. You opened it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. If you know what it is. Please tell me. Ooh, in a frame for a no grade. How peculiar. Dad, we need to open it. Some rather ugly blank bits on one side of his beam rifle. But look at this. I didn't even get this colour in the high grade, so it's a bit of a surprise. But what the point? Oh, it's for, just for the eyeballs. I would have thought they would have used it for the, the symbol in his chest, but they didn't. What year was this made? Focus 2011, made in Japan. And some people have asked, well, one person, what these dials are for. I want to make it. Yes, in just a moment. This What's should that? indicate exactly what kind of styrene this is for recycling purposes. Now you know. And a box. Look, look, and at the bottom of the box. Why there's an instruction? Yes, there's an instruction manual. Am I supposed to take this to bits? But Dad, how to open that it? Funny accessory. Dad. Still not clear what that does. It's a harrow alarm clock. Yeah. Full colour instructions. Well, I never. 
this uh, yeah, just for any missing that. parts that you want to get replaced and a little proof of purchase. Yeah, I have to open that. I don't think I've seen a box quite like this one. I think I've seen it's rubbish. It's rubbish. <laughs> it is rubbish if you don't have any access to I can't open this it. arcade machine. Don't open it, for goodness sakes. If you don't have access to one of these arcadey machines where you put your, your model in the middle of that and it gives you, I don't know, scores of some sort, then yes, it is rubbish. <laughs> Come on. Shall we pop the parts off? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's, let's do this properly, shall we? We're looking for a D4. Can you find D4? It looks like this. So it's a red part. Ah. One thing with having the instructions in colour, then it makes it much easier to find all the different components there are. So, you can see that it's red. You found it, D4. Can you pull it out then? It's very little. I know, it's tiny. This is part of his faceplate. It goes under his eyes. And Daddy's found this part, which is F1. He found this one, because there's only one component in the F tree. Hey, yes. You've pulled the wrong part out, haven't you? Haven't you? This says number three. You needed D4. Can you pull that little piece out? Thank you. Oops. Come pull it out. You can do it. Can you twist it out? That's the way. Can you find A2? The head, the front and back of his head. Hi, Dad. Did you find it? Ted, can you get the back of his head for me? Where is back Ooh. of his head? Where is back of his head? Hey, his chest. If this is for his chest. His chest. Yes, I know it. Okay, you can pull that part out as well. I want his head. Thank you. And I'm going to make that. You want to make it? Okay, you snap his head together. Oops. I'm going to do the next bit. Oh, I need his frame. This is his main body. This doesn't bode well for his waist articulation, I would say. This little symbol for his chest is molded in there. It's easy enough to paint. Do I get stickers with this? Did we get any stickers? No stickers! No stickers? Did I throw away in the bag? No, no stickers. That's a bit of a shocker. No sticker, but you do get one of these card things. I don't know what use this is. If you know, leave a message and let me know. Dad, my good. Well done. And looking at the gate area where it was snapped off, it doesn't look too bad. Can I drain the juice? Okay, you can. Mm, what do I need to do here? I need the yellow part again. See the chest vents and also the front pockets. All in one piece. Slap it together. This video shouldn't take long. And oh, I think we can pop his head on already. Okay, let's do all the other parts. Come on, can you help me? Can you snap all the parts out for me? I don't think we really need instructions. Hey, the shield part. I know, you can snap the shield apart out for me. Dad, how about the shield? You can put the shield together, here. I'm sure you can manage that. Oh, I did it in the wrong order. I spoke too soon about not needing instructions. I didn't make the wrong one. I know, because Daddy's a silly Billy. Excuse me. Do you like making Gundams? Yes. And look! What? There's a gun! There's okay. a gun! There's a gun! Okay, you take the gun out then. And I want to have this. Go 
money. Oh, there's not going to be any hip articulation on this one. This is for that. This card is for that machine. I know, but the I don't know where the machines are. I haven't seen one yet. But if we see one, maybe we can take our Gundam and have a battle with all the other Gundamers. That would be cool, wouldn't it? And we can have this card mm. to fight in our predators. Mm. Oh dear. So no knee articulation here. And no ankle articulation here either. And the last thing. This is probably the fastest build of any Gundam I've ever made. Yep, give me the big blue yeah. piece. Thank you. And there's all of the parts. Did you make the shield? Yes. Can you make the gun? I think there's, look, there's another little grey piece here. We need that. Can you pop that out? Yo, baby. Baby, baby. Mm. Hey, Dad, I have an idea. What's your idea, then? That's something. It's good, and that can be found. But, what? This is the sword part. <laughs> this is the sword part. Can you snap the sword parts? Look, there's two little swords there. Okay, I'm not sure how this... Ah, the sleeves are in the other way around. There you go. Oh, it's the back of the hand. Not so keen on this bit. Oh, so okay. No elbow or wrist articulation. And his arms don't swing outwards. There's a single axis for his arms. His head does. Have a connection of the ball jointed variety. You stick a shield on. And if you turn his shield upside down, look, it's that A. A for age. What's that? Oh, we forgot to put his bottom on. Can you do that? Can you stick his bottom on and I'll build his arm? Build his arm, build his arm, build his arm, build his arm. The easiest build I have, I ever, ever seen. Let's put his gun on. And what's this piece here? What's this piece? Does it go on the bottom? Ah, oh, okay. That'll be, I think, this way around. Hey, Dad, how about the sword? The sword? You can hold the sword here. So... Me two swords. You can't hold both swords at the same time and hold this gun, unless I can stow his gun. No, he can't. Hey, Dad. Dad, Dad. <laughs> what do you want to do now? Open this. This and like this. Like that? Okay. So articulation wise, his arms move up and down and his head is on a ball joint. And that's your lot. He <laughs> doesn't have any other articulation. And he has no stickers. 600 yen? I suppose that's all right. Where's the little black box that you took out? Where is it? Here it is. I think you put it in somewhere. Where do I put it? Oh, that's a good point. Ah! You put it in the backpack. Right? You put it in here, there's a little space. And we drop it in there. Where's for the little backpack? <laughs> and then we plug it in there. Why and then the it's hidden inside here. Why is that he's for, he's for in the little backpack? I don't know. 
That's but a good color-wise, you know, I haven't panel lined it, I haven't inked it, I haven't done anything to this. Just snapped it all together in a few moments. And the eyes, the fact that the eyes are already done for you, that's pretty spectacular. For a first gradey type of kit, I think it's, it's pretty good, isn't it? It looks very good, in fact. And here's the high grade. Let's compare the two, shall we? Stick his swords back in. This is about a million times more articulated than this one. And the sculpt is, unsurprisingly, very similar. I would have expected this one to be a lot more stocky and crude, but it's pretty close, actually. The spoiler is much smaller and less tall as well. Hmm, I'd say that this one is a lot better value. Even though it's twice the price of this one, I'd splash out for this one. <laughs> for half the price, you get this card, which I think is fairly useless. That chip in his backpack, again, I think for the majority of people, is going to be fairly useless, that thing. And very little articulation, but it does look good just standing there by itself. But for me, I think I do prefer the high grade much more than this. And you get clear pink beams for this one and, you know, beam savers that can stow away. And there's so much more to this one than there is to this one. All right, that's your lot. Which one do you like better? But how about this? No stickers? Yeah, there's no sticker in his chest. There's no stickers here. That's a very good point. I didn't mention previously that this one is uh, actually articulated, not just in a swivel, there's also a tilt there as well, but the shield does come off rather easily. And the shield on this one, that's not going anywhere. Turn it that way if you wanted to. But yeah, a lot more kid friendly, I suppose. That's the price of articulation. Okay, bye-bye. Tell me what you think of the new Gundam Age series. Was it any good?